it's gonna be a big waste of time. She's not cheating on me, I can tell you that right now. So why did you call? I told my brother that I would. <laughs> you see, he warned me about my first wife, and, and my second, and my third, and he, yeah, he just happened to be right. Mm. So tell me about fiance number four. Well, you know, she's a nurse, so she's real sweet. She's great with my kid. Mm. So nothing suspicious? Uh, no, I mean, you know, like any other woman, you know, she likes to go out and party, get real drunk, you know. <laughs> Well, she won't talk about it, but that's not suspicious. I mean, that's just the way she is. You're a lucky man. So, uh, tell me, how does this work, right? Because the caterer needs a uh, deposit by Tuesday. Well, we got a contact we use, Mitch. Uh, he's young, handsome, you know, power bait. Uh. We'll dangle him in front of her and see if she bites. Well, what if he's not her type? Oh, Mitch is everybody's type. The women are robots. <laughs> You left the hot plate on. I'm making soup. Someone's gonna put their arm on that. You know what kind of burn that is? Now a pot is on it, okay? That's a third degree burn. That's the worst kind of burn there is. That makes you the worst co-worker there is. Yeah, that's great logic, Jack. And he needs a safety cover off the disposal unit. The peeping Tom's a sloppy Joe. What is his problem? He hates you, right? But lately, his hate has become more hateful. It's bordering on phony. You having any luck with the uh, deadbeat dad? Oh, I thought you said Debbie's dad. <laughs> I will look into that, though. Stacy, I got some more files for you. Oh, great. Stacy's bringing a new system to the office. What's the system? The alphabet. <laughs> oh, so you want to do it that way. Yeah, 103 FM went Spanish. That's my third preset wiped out by NAFTA. A giant sucking sound is coming from my radio. Hey, where's my Rolodex? Oh, I'm integrating it into the master phone list. Oh. We're going alphabetical. Oh, well, yeah, that's another way. Uh, listen, Stacy, could you look up uh, Mitch Reynolds for me, please? Yeah, I thought Mitch wasn't baiting women for us mm. anymore. I'm going to talk some sense into him. What does Mitch do? Oh, he teaches phys ed. Mm. Oh, where's the funeral? Gallagher's funeral home. Yeah. <laughs> Her neighbor died. What? <laughs> oh, really? Oh, I I'm sorry, Stacy. Yeah. You know what's so tough is the last time I saw him, we got into this big argument. Yeah, what happened? I don't know. I baked him herb bread, mm. and he screamed at me. Mm. That sounds like death grumpiness. Death grumpiness? Yeah, about a week before someone dies, they get very grumpy. That's how the mind copes with death. It's sort of like puberty, but instead of acne, you die. <laughs> hey, is this a theory? Oh, this is a fact, Kevin. It's like evolution. You know, the same thing happened with my grandfather. I brought him a really nice pair of moccasins from Flagstaff. He told me to go straight to hell. Mm. A week later, he was dead. Profanity, that's the hallmark of the DGs. <laughs> All right, I got to get out of here if I'm going to make fourth period. Oh, Thanks, Jason. Right, I'll see you later, Kevin. Mm. Damn this friggin' job. <laughs> what the hell are you looking at? What are you doing here, Nardoza? I got another job for you. Forget about it. Oh, come on. You still in a tizzy about Mrs. Evans? Yeah, I am. Joey, that's two. Look, you did a good job. We got what we needed. I didn't get what I needed. All right, look, we've been through that. You know, we're not a dating service. Had her top off, her skirt up, thought I had some privacy. Mitch. And then Vic breaks up the party. All right, look, forget about that. You want more money? It's not about the money. It's right. about the perks, man. It's the perks. I mean, if I'm not getting some action, then... Jeez, come on. I don't doing? know what I'm doing this for, man. Jeez. Joey. <laughs> the perks, man. The perks. Jack, you ever think about getting a physical? You ever think about shut up? 
Yeah, but Jack, at your age... At you... my age, I should be able to eat my lunch in peace. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Jack. <laughs> All right, so we'll let you know, huh? Uh, you're up, big fella. Hey, Vic, you got a minute? Oh, not now, Kevin. I'm casting. I'm trying to find a new Mitch. All right, listen, I want you to play this very natural, close to the bone. Huh? I sure have been collecting files. I'd give you a hand, Stace, but I got a bad back. No football injury. Someone threw a football at me. Uh, Brady, can I borrow Stacy for a minute? Be my guest. Hey, Brady, have you ever heard of death grumpiness? Is that like Tuesdays with Maury? Vic says that people get grumpy before they die, and Jack has been awfully grumpy. Vic says a lot of things. Yeah, but Jack is old. Yep. And he doesn't look after himself. Well, he never did. We met doing security for the Rolling Stones. Jack used to throw himself right into the crowds. <laughs> that Jack. You know, he once saved 20 people in a Mexican train wreck. <laughs> the man's a living legend. Yeah, living. <laughs> Kevin, are you crying? I'm gonna miss that mean old man. <laughs> You're really a messed up kid, aren't you? So, uh, what do you do for fun, baby? Um, I don't think this is an approach that would work for me. Oh, that's okay, baby. Oh. <laughs> See, now, that, that, that's interesting. Uh, Aaron, remember that, that thing you showed me? Try that on Stacy. Mm. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, that, that, that definitely wouldn't work on me. Oh, come on, Stacy. Say, uh, no, thank you. Uh, I already have a drink. And, and look at his mouth again. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I don't want to do this anymore. You don't get anything from that? No. All right. Sorry, uh, Aaron, we'll, we'll let you know, all right? Man, I'll tell you, I have no confidence in these candidates. Man, if I had a little time, I could train someone, but... What happened to your gym teacher? Yeah, gone. With everything I struggled to teach him. What are you going to do now? Well... No spring chicken, but like a well-seasoned chicken, I get better with age. <laughs> Wait, you're, you're not thinking... What, am I disgusting to you? No. Well, then we're agreed. I'm a very handsome man. Well, yeah, Vic, but these guys, you know, what? they're they're built. Well, so... And you're... No, 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 come on, lay it on me. I can take it. Slender. You are brutal. Oh, uh... Tell me, what exactly are we looking for here? Uh, well, I'd like to get a little mass, uh, you know, a little the definition. Hey, what if I told you that I could put together a program that would guarantee results in three weeks? Ooh, I'd have to tell you, I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> How much time do you have? Uh, well, if I don't take a shower, uh, I could leave as late as 7.30. Dear Jack, now that you are dying, Dear Jack, I want to share some deep and sincere feelings before you become a jack-in-the-box. <laughs> Dear Jack, if you are reading this, then my FedEx of love has reached you in time. <laughs> hundred reps? That's way too many. A oh, hundred sets. Yeah, I pyramided just like the poster shows. Oh, geez. Man, that's 6,400 reps. Boy, I wonder if I'm gonna be sore. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I can see. <laughs> comes in and he starts like yelling and screaming about you know changing his bed bringing his food you know really grumpy i gave the guy a wig he died on friday <laughs> oh that's quite a story hi i'm roland i'm a golf pro buzz off she's engaged it's all right looks harmless enough yeah let me buy you a drink huh 
Uh, bartender. Bartender! I'm a little sore. I've been working out. Mm. So, uh, like Herbie Hancock? You're the worst I've ever seen. Well, and we just met. No, seriously, um, what do you think is the best religion? Okay. Why don't we just dance? Okay. Yeah, it's a lot quieter up here. Inside hotel room. But we're not here to just talk, are we? Oh, you're wearing revealing clothing. <laughs> you men, you can only think about one thing. Oh, and what might that be? The same thing I'm thinking about. Mm, well, you're gonna have to be a little more specific. Hot, steamy sex. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, listen, I'm a little tired. I really want to go now. Not as tired as you're going to be. <laughs> wait, 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 ow! <laughs> Don't you be coy with me. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait a minute, we hardly even know each other. Let's talk, oh, right? How about some stuff, girl? Mr. Golgi, uh, there's no real easy way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. Your fiance, she didn't check out. What are you talking about? She was uh, receptive to our uh, contacts uh, overtures. Uh, so she's flirty. I mean, uh, that's, that's no crime. Uh, no, it was a bit more than that. What? Did she kiss him? All right. She kissed him, right? Big deal. Look, it was more than a kiss. She took her top off. <laughs> she kissed him with her top off. Big deal. <laughs> Look, they went all the way. All right? What? They went all the way? Yeah, that's right. What is this guy, some kind of animal or something? He'd never do that. That's easy for you to say. Right. <laughs> I wanted her checked out, not violated. Come on, calm down. Uh, no, no, who is this hey. guy? I'm going to kill him. Hey, let's not forget your fiance's role in this, all right? Uh, my yeah. angel is violated by this animal. Hey, I'm going to fight him. I'm going to break right. both his legs. I'm going to rip his arms out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the victim. <laughs> Fifty-two. You did 52 files in the last hour. That's exactly the same number of files you did in the previous hour. And what are you up to this week? Oh, I'm just uh, focusing on the whole boss thing. A poem of care from your dear friend Kevin Blakely. What's this, Jack? Where did you find it? Here on the floor. It must have fallen off your desk. Let me see that. What's it say, Jack? No, I can't. <laughs> Come on, Jack, just give us a little taste. Okay, but keep it to yourself. You too, Stacy. I know sometimes I come off wild, but I'm really just a fearful child. My dreadlocks and voyeurism are a shield. Today, love is the sword I wield. That's, uh, sweet. Come on, this can't be for real. Read some more. Hi. Uh, <laughs> well, maybe just this part. On a stakeout filled with fear, only one thing kept my head clear. Pretending that strong Jack was near. What are you doing? I'm sorry, I was just... That was uh, personal. I'm sorry. It's a real nice poem, Kevin. Yeah, it's really nice. It's very funny. I hope you do die, Jack. I hate you. We should not have done that. That wasn't worth it. Nope. Well, no harm in reading it again. Yeah. Kevin, you know where Jack is? Who cares? I think I need some muscle. My client just threatened to kill me. Man, I wonder what Jack would do. Probably fall asleep. <laughs> See, I know he knows the Tai Chi Chuan. Ooh, maybe they have a website. Check under Bozo. 
And I wish I'd kept up my lessons with him. But that's the way I am. As soon as I bought the robe and the split-toed shoes, I lost interest. <laughs> Brady, have you seen the big man around? Bad news, guys. I just left Jack at the hospital. He's had a stroke. Am I going to hell? On a rocket sled. <laughs> well, I finished my gelato, and my head began to hurt. Luckily, your friend just had his first ice cream headache. <laughs> Those aspirins should do the trick. Thanks, Doc. Yeah, thanks, Doc. Yeah. Jeez, Jack, you really had us going, man. You know? I mean, Kevin, he's like... <sighs> yeah, I got a letter to write, don't I? Yeah. Uh -huh. Look, uh, let me go over some of those moves now. Vic, I can't train you in one hour, not even in one day. Oh, come on, Jack, you gotta give me something. Now, this is position one, right? <laughs> Let's start with the basics. Yeah, right, okay. Now, in the karate, you apply your strength against your opponents. Right. In judo, you use his strength against him. But in Tai Chi Chuan, you're not even there to begin with. Oh, Jack. That's excellent. Excellent, Jack. Vic? Vic, it's me, man. It's Mitch. Mitch? I got beat up, man. Some crazy mustachioed guy jumped me. Did he break both your legs? Yeah, and he, he yanked on my arms like he was trying to rip them off of my body, man. <laughs> You gotta find out who did this, right, man. Me, no, man. you gotta find out who did this and why they did it, man. This is out of the blue. I mean, everybody likes Mitch, man. Everybody. Yeah, well, Mitch, you have slept with over 300 betrothed women. Yeah, start with them. Yeah. So Mitch got beat up for what you did. What was done to me. <laughs> Come on, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. You're up in her hotel room waltzing around in a pair of tight pants. Hey. I dress for myself. <laughs> All right. The thing to do about Mitch is nothing. Just look busy. You know, like the Warren Commission. Roger that. I still don't know how Golgi even found Mitch. Well, we used Mitch for uh, wife number three. Right. <laughs> Dear Kevin, my headache made me think. Have I let that junior coworker of mine know how I feel deep inside? Have I let him know he has brought joy or how proud I feel when he solves a case? And then I thought, he hasn't solved a case. He hasn't brought me joy. Why am I even writing him? Signed, Jack. Damn, he's cool. What a role model. Stacy, where's infidelities? I need Mitch Reynolds' file. Check my chair. Well, I find this new system baffling. I'm not finished. Yeah. Vic, it's Mitch. Oh, hey, Mitch. Yeah, I was uh, just uh, looking up your file. Listen, I remembered a few things about the guy who attacked me. He drove a blue car. No, 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 that doesn't help. It was a Honda Accord. There's a trillion of those. License plate RT430. That'll do it. <laughs> Bitch, we called you in because we've had an unfortunate misunderstanding. All right, here's the thing. The guy that beat you up, his name is Arthur Golgi. And the reason that he beat you up, he had Arthur a whole... Golgi? I should have known. What, you slept with his fiancée, too? No, he, his kid's in my gym class. I like to chuck stuff at him. Kind of helps me get my aggressions out. Well, there you go. Wow, Mitch, thanks for coming in. Wait a minute, you said two. What? You asked me if I slept with his fiancée, too. I did. I got beat up because of Come you, on, man. Hey, oh, hey, hey, hey. I got beat up because you sealed the deal, man. Hey. Huh? I'm not even here. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Lucky you got your arms out to break that fall. Yeah. Yeah, lucky. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jack. I really want to start up those lessons again. Oh, yeah, we'll work on it as soon as those bones heal up. Yeah. All right, Vic, we'll let you rest. Take it easy, man. Yeah, yeah take it slow now. Oh, I'll be taking it slow. <laughs> Nurse! 
Well, 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 look who we have here. I got pushed out of a window. Well, that's not good. No. Do you want me to kiss your boobos? No. You know, Roland, I've been thinking a lot about you. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, wait, wow. Uh, yeah, yo, wait. Oh, yes. Whoa, no. Don't you dare be coy with me. Please. No, no, no. <laughs>